Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day and today is Monday the 31st and today was a lovely beautiful day to be alive. Got this morning, pretty normal time, a little early than I wanted to, dogs are making some noise and whatnot and all that good fun stuff. So got up, um, got them outside, got them taken care of, jumped in the hot tub for a little bit. Um, was a little bit concerned I got there, the hot tub was off. I was like, what the hell, they had a power pump? I didn't remember it. But luckily the water is still warm enough that I was able to get in. It wasn't down in the 90s or nothing. So I think it was 101 or 100. I don't remember exactly what it was. But it was not bad. So I was able to get in the tub for a little bit. Um, got out of there. Talked to my wife. Before I headed out, we got talking about um, the what table she wants for the breakfast nook slash what's going to be kind of our dining room. Because um, the main dining room is small for like a grand table. And we never use a dining room. So... I figure we'll make it something else. Might become a sitting room, might become a pinball room. Don't know what it's gonna be yet, but it'll become something. So, but we were talking about the table. Uh, I guess she went up and found some she likes. She found a buffet slash sideboard, we wanna call it as well. And the picture sent me or showed me, I'm like, okay, first off in the middle is like a wine rack. We don't drink wine. And so what are we doing? She goes, well, we have bottles of wine. I'm like, yes, we have bottles of wine, but you haven't opened one this year. Like you have not opened a bottle of wine in an entire year. So why are we storing stuff? Are you trying to give the image of looking fancy by having wine out on display? Because that's the case. We need fancier bottles of wine than we have because what we have is not fancy wine. And two, I don't want to give up prime real estate like that for that process. So she was like, okay, whatever and stuff. And I was trying to explain to her, I'm like, I need to know what you want to put in that cabinet before you buy a cabinet because you might want to put in like say I don't know your air fryer and then realize you don't need an air fryer because our new oven does air frying so why do we need an air fryer or you might buy the sideboard that doesn't have a spot big enough for your air fryer so now we just bought this two thousand or twenty five hundred dollar sideboard that doesn't fit nothing that you want so why don't we get over there fill the cabinets up with stuff first and then then this I want you might want a bunch of drawers you might want no drawers you might want all drawers who knows what we want so might want big open space to put in cookie sheets and might who knows what so you gotta figure it out and she kind of i think i made her feel like she's a bit ass whipped with the process so she's just trying to find something that fits that spot and then she'll put what she can find to fit in i'm like no no we have the money we'll have something custom built if we need to especially through the company we found the amish uh, store we can buy stuff we can actually have it designed make it bigger make it smaller if we can do anything you want with this stuff so figure out what you need it to fit and then have it built you know I guess it'll cost more money than buying one off the shelf, but who gives a damn? If it's 2,500 bucks compared to three grand, who gives a shit if it fits your needs? So, try to explain it to her, I'm like, it's kind of like going and buying a shoe rack. You go buy a shoe rack that fits tennis shoes, but all you have are nine inch stiletto heels or thigh high boots. That was a waste of time, waste of money, waste of space. So, try to explain it to her, and I think she finally realized what I was talking about. So, we'll go from there and hopefully she can figure it out. I'm thinking what we need to do is just, build some cabinets or have some kind of build or buy some cabinets just more kitchen cabinets unders and uppers then make like the center part look more like a like a hutch with like a display so if you want to put your whiskey bottles out on display if you want to make that your kind of your image or more of she's really big into she loves fancy bowls you know glass platters that kind of stuff make that your display throw some lights in it and really set it up that way and go from there but who knows we'll see what she comes up with um give her some more train of thought of what it is the table she picked out is um, very plain, very dull, which I don't mind, but it has fancy, you want to buy the fancier chairs, which I'm all for, buying a better, fancier chair, and go from there. So we're gonna try and make a trip up and look at it. We also gotta stop by our, ca our countertop store, or our fabricator, and pick out our edge molding, what we want ground into the edge for the shapes and all that good fun stuff, and go from there. So yeah, other than that, um, she got off to work after that. I think I explained to her what I was, what my frustration was, is don't buy something and try and make yourself fit find out what you want to put there then build around it because treat this cabinet just like a custom house you know you don't want to build a common three two and then find out that you needed a four three or you only needed a two one whatever it is figure out your needs are build it to fit your needs don't buy something and then make your needs fit it that makes no sense so hopefully she understood where i was coming from completely and we can get that move forward but from there going across the street got a couple things done Got all the puppies fed, all that kind of stuff, yada, yada. Went across the street, got some work over there. Um, decided to go ahead and put the washer and dryer in. Got the washer and washer is, holy shit, that thing is heavy. I've never seen a washer this damn heavy as that front loader. It's ridiculous. So I got that installed, got it all plumbed up, got it all ready to go. And then 
went to put the dryer on top because she wants them stacked. I don't think she's gonna like it stacked because it's too tall, but she seems to think that's what she wants. So whatever she wants, she'll get. Uh, went ahead and said the hell with it. From there, I was like, how do I get this up there? I don't know how to do it. Had to swap the door around so the washer swings the way. And then in order to pick it up, I decided I'm just gonna pick it up myself. So I just literally picked up the dryer and set it on top there by myself, which was not the easiest thing to do, but I got it done because I just, that's how I do. If I can do it myself, I'll do it by myself. Most time it works out better for me. I don't have to worry about somebody else dropping or losing grip or whatever and destroying $2,000 worth of washer and dryers in the process of breaking a door off or something. But in order to do that, I take the door off the dryer because the way I was picking it up, it was gonna swing wildly out of control. So I had to pull that door off also, which is never fun, but it worked out. Got it all put in there. Um, could not plumb it up because the wall has like a weird oval um, dryer vent. And I stopped in at True Bayou and another hardware store here in town. Nobody has an oval to round adapter. And I didn't feel like driving one to use Smyrna to see if Home Depot had it. Looked online, they have it online, but I just, I'm not certain it's the right one. And returns are kind of pinned about with that. So I'm gonna try and see, probably tomorrow I'll rub to Home Depot and, and do Smyrna and check it out, see if they have any up there, but yeah. So it's set on top. I got the hot water hose hooked up, which my dryer has a water hose that runs to it, which the technology is ridiculous but it's for steaming clothes for getting wrinkles and stuff out you have a hose hooked up so i didn't hook the washer and dryer or the washer again the cold hose split it off the y and then run it up but it is what it is so but it's all done it's all set up i just gotta hook the hoses up and then push it back into place i screwed up not thinking i'd put the washer back exactly where it needed to be and then i put the dryer on top but i couldn't get to it hook the hose up so i had to move it all out and right now it's sitting out far enough the door still swings through but in order to open the door and do it well, I think you're going to shut the door to the laundry room in order to really get the clothes in and out of it conveniently. So, yeah, that's not really the best idea. But it is what it is. It all work. So I went ahead from there. Um, got that finished up. Went back across the street. Hung out the dogs for a little while. Um, went out. Um, went down to the um, walk the dogs in the RV park. Got that taken care of. I'm done out at beach side, so that's nice. So I have to go out there. So that made it easy. Um, from there, I was able to get back hang out of the house a little bit. Went got my run in. Um, got a shower. Got herself some dinner. Ended up having some um, uh, hamburger helper, whatever mom made some earlier. So I had hamburger helper. Uh, I was trying to watch a little bit um, TV. Trick or treaters started showing up, so I just rushed a lot of dogs outside because they're all barking at the door, so trick or treaters and stuff. So took dogs out back, hung out with them for a while, and then I had another dog getting dropped off. Little Austin healer, little little herding dog that just, just net barks every damn noise there is. So got them out there, they all got to playing. Um, I hung out in the evening, the rest of the night outside, waiting for the trick or treaters to get done. Before we wanted to make sure the kids knew we were gonna have uh, candy, so I went ahead and went up in the attic, got a couple. Halloween decorations. I didn't decorate nothing this year. So but I threw some decoration out there, threw some bike lights out to make sure they knew that flashing lights was proper to it. Kind of like, hey, stop here kind of thing. So went ahead and they did give out some. I don't know how much they gave out. They gave out like half a bowl or so, but not much. So went ahead, um, hung out, like I said, with dogs, chilled outside, got done there, came in, had myself some tomatoes and cottage cheese for dessert, wrapped it up and called it a night. So that's all I got for right now. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.